Greetings, Dennis Daniels here. Uh, let's take a look at solving some word problems. <coughs> let's use correct pen solving word problems. And uh, let's take a look at the problem here. Abe invested uh, 3,000 US dollars and he invested in risky bonds at 14.5 percent and he invested the rest in money market at 3.75 percent now <clears throat> he got lucky and earned 514 dollars and we want to know um, how much did he invest at each rate. Here's the rate, and here's the rate. <clears throat> so we're going to set up a, uh, a table that looks like this. Here's the amount invested. And the amount invested, we don't know. Uh, we do know the rate, though. It's 14.5%. Um, but that's going to, we need to put the decimal over there. And let's erase this. Remove any confusion. So 14.5 looks like this because, again, if you have 14.5%, that equals 140, 1 1 14.5 over 100. That's 14.5%. Let's erase that. Okay, so back to our regularly scheduled notes. Okay, so what we need to do is get this equation going. And it's going to look something like this um, 0.45x. plus 0 0.0375 times 3,000 minus x equals uh, 514. Now we want to get rid of these decimals. And the easiest way to do that is by timesing, let's say, by a thousand. That should do it. So we're going to multiply both sides of the equation by a thousand. And so that gets rid of our, uh, that gets rid of our decimal points here. And 37.5, 3,000 minus x equals 514,000. <clears> and uh, we can use calculators, and so we'll do that. 37.5 times 3,000 equals 111, 112,500 minus 37.5x. Um, and we have 145x here. So uh, 37 or 145 minus 37. 5 equals 107.5, 107.5x, and we're going to um, we're going to subtract 112500 0, 0 from this side, and we'll do the same from this side. Uh, so that's 112500. 0, 0. So using our calculator, just speed it up, 514,000 subtracted 
112500 gives us 401,500. And then we divide, let's go ahead and copy this. Copy. And then we'll create a new sheet. 640, 480. Paste and edit, edit, deselect. All right, so uh, now we now we divide one zero seven point five one zero point five, and again we'll use our calculator divided by. 1,500 divided by 107.5. 401,500 divided by 107.5 equals uh, x equals 37.34. Look right because our total amount invested originally was only three thousand dollars. See that the original investment was only three thousand dollars, so I've made a mistake somewhere. I'm not sure where.